Hello and welcome back to the old realms and we're in a siege defense. Yes. Oh, this is so fun. All right. So here's the thing. Obviously, the last time that I did a siege defense, well, it was off screen because uh, not in this series that it was it was in the damsel series because, um, well, I don't know whether you know this, but generally, if I make a decision in a series and it turns out to be all right, you know, it's okay. But if the riskier decision that I didn't decide to go with is a little bit alluring, something that I thought might be really, really fun to do, then after the recording, I actually go back, I reload a previous save, I obviously keep the other save just to, you know, make sure that everything's up to date appropriately enough. And then I play that myself in my own time because I want to see what would have happened. Because I think that that's interesting. So, yeah. Anyway, if you don't know that, that's generally what I tend to do sometimes. Not all the time, but if I think there's an interesting decision, then I, I might do that. But anyway, we are currently being besieged by Countess Ludmila. And she is obviously not very nice for, for her to do this. This is actually going to be extremely, extremely problematic. Because this fellow is... Actually, never mind. I actually thought he was going to have some really tough units. <laughs> oh, she's... She's, <laughs> she has 89 veteran artillery crew. What does that mean? <laughs> does that mean she's going to be bringing literal, I don't even know, five mortars or something like that onto the field? That's going to be very funny. Anyway, because the base game of Bannerlord uh, got updated, I'm not entirely sure whether it was in the previous version or whether it was in this version. I'm currently playing on 1.2.0 or whatever it is, the beta version at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure when they introduced this, but the ability to decide what you would want to build on the walls has now been done for me. So basically what you, what I've done here is as soon as the siege began, I decided to build catapults. Oh yeah, by the way, they gave this to me. This is my town now. I didn't actually tell you that yet, did I? No, I didn't actually tell you that. But yes, they ended up giving this to me and oh... No, I don't want to make peace. Our kingdom is going to pay them? Are you serious? Why? <laughs> Why would we be paying them? That makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, well, it's going to take at least, well, uh, around 48 hours for them to come up with that. So hopefully we're going to be able to end the siege, or hopefully they're going to go for the siege. I mean, I can force them to go for the siege um, by ambushing them. And maybe that would be an idea <laughs> if we want to force them into it because I can force them to just go straight on in. I, I don't know whether that's a good idea. I mean, I have every single one of my catapults up and running now, as you can see. Every single one has been built. And, well, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we should try it out. Okay, these are my skills right now, by the way. Don't have um, tier 4 just yet which is quite sad. Been doing a lot of fighting, as you can see, but we are nowhere near getting what we need to actually make that work. I made um, two parties in the previous episode, and I let them go out of my army because I thought to myself, oh yeah, you know what? Maybe it's going to be better for them to just run around and fight bandits. Unfortunately, after around two fights, they just got themselves killed, and that was really, really sad. Anyway, we're going to go into an ambush here, and I'm going to force them into attacking because this is what you can do obviously if the enemy uh, attacks then you have the ability to force them into uh, into the siege so yeah if you ambush them then they are forced to go into the siege after that and hopefully that's not going to hmm, this might I, I don't know this might backfire okay this might very well backfire. I've actually found that I'm actually not doing too badly in regards to using my uh, my weapon any further, my, my gun here. Bear in mind, we also have a bunch of catapults. Oh, the enemy has catapults too. What? what? Are these the mortars? Uh, these might be the mortars that they're actually bringing onto the field here. It's still funny because I can't use my mortar, which is really weird. I, I still have no idea why that's happening. Okay, what's actually... What's actually going on here? Where, where are they? Can I? 
Oh, they're, they're over here? Are you serious? Okay, that was kind of weird. I actually thought... <laughs> I actually saw like a whole bunch of... Yeah, look at this. There's artillery flying in from somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure where from, to be honest. But there you go. Okay, let's just kill this guy. Kill this one. Whoa, this guy's got massive HP. Look at that. He managed to survive a body shot from my weapon here as well. There we go. And uh, I actually have 149 in gunpowder now. Can you believe it? Yeah, I was um, I was actually kind of surprised to see that right now because I didn't even realize what kind of gunpowder skill I had up until this point, which is very funny in itself. There we go. Shoot that guy. <laughs> I think it's always hilarious how that is happening. Okay, so we're ordering a tactical retreat now. And I think that's actually fine, question mark? I actually don't know whether that's a good idea, to be honest. I actually feel like maybe it would be a better idea to just eliminate as many of these guys as I can get my hands on. And then, and then run? Oh, I don't know. Fine, I'll just, I'll just run then, I guess. I mean, my, if my forces are running, then I might as well run too. And how are we doing? Did we lose, did we lose people? Yeah, we lost quite a few people, but, hmm. I suppose if that's how it's going to go... That's how it's going to go. All right. So, yeah. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually force them into the siege. Oh, okay. That's weird. Because that ha that used to happen. That used to happen in the previous version of the game. Okay. Uh, well, maybe it happens sometimes and maybe, maybe other times it doesn't happen. Oh, well. Whatever the case, we have finally reached 150 in gunpowder. So let's actually have a look and, and see what we can get. Because these are the perks that I'm really, really interested in, in seeing. Anyway. You deal 25% increased damage with gunpowder weapons to enemies within 7 meters. And ranged troops in your party have their one-handed skill increased by 30 as well. Alright, uh, Deadeye is, on the other hand, 30% increased damage with long rifles. Okay, two-handed gunpowder troops in your party have their accuracy increased by 20%. I'm actually not entirely sure what to go for here because I don't know whether I'm even using a long rifle. I think I'm using a repeater, so the long rifle is not... I don't think I'm using the long rifle, so I think I'm going to have to go for close quarters here. But this is not very good. Uh, let's just say that. This is not very good. Uh, I guess I will go for close quarters and we'll see what happens. I can obviously respec at any point. So if something does go badly then that's not the end of the world, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm kind of hoping that they're going to go for the siege. Ah, we made peace with them now. Yeah, sad, sad. That is very, very sad, isn't it? Yes. Oh, well, never mind. I was really very much hoping that we'd be able to get a siege defense here, and I was kind of, as I say, I was basically trying everything that I could, including ambushing them. Ah, yes, and I actually forgot to tell you this. I finally got the opportunity to recruit from the regiments of renown that are currently present in Averheim. And I'm very pleased to say that they are Blazing Sun troops, which is very, very cool. So you can see here, this is their troop tree right here. And they are pretty amazing. They've got some great stats. Even the, um, the lower tier ones have really, really good stats as well. So what are we going to go for? Well, we could go for the Demigriff. Or we could go for the Inner Circle Knight. I am not entirely sure what's best. Um, seems like they have relatively similar equipment. The only difference is their mount. I feel like a Demigriff would be quite fun. So let's go for that. I don't know. Hopefully it's not going to crash the game or something. Anyway, we are actually going into a battle against these guys. I'm kind of hoping... <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that this is going to work out. I don't know. Have, have I have I fought these on, on screen before? Uh, my my memory is just absolutely shot, by the way. So it's it's very, very difficult for me to remember exactly what has happened in previous episodes. But let's actually just see whether we can... Uh, whoa, this is actually a very cool environment, isn't it? This looks super, super atmospheric, moody, gloomy. And uh, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell these guys to charge in immediately, of course. And then we're going to get these guys over here. And we'll just put them into a loose formation. Because we do need to do that. And hopefully my forces will be able to deal with the enemy's cavalry. I don't know whether I have a particularly good setup for this. Because I only have a very small amount of... Uh, 
infantry, of course. I can't believe I'm not hitting anything. Oh, it's really dark as well, isn't it? Ugh. Yeah, that's always a, uh, that's always a big, big point of frustration for me specifically because my vision is pretty bad <laughs> at the best of times, and uh, I literally can't see anything right now. Well, I can see some things, obviously, because I am aiming and shooting at these guys, but you know what I mean. It's not as easy as it could be. How are we doing so far, though? It feels to me like we're not doing too badly, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing something where it isn't. I don't know. It seems all right. I mean, how many have we lost so far? I mean, we've lost 11, which is quite, I don't know, respectable or terrible. I don't know. I, I think it's okay at the moment. Let's just try and eliminate some of these guys myself. That, that fellow is trying to kill me. No, thank you, sir. And there we go. And hopefully... Hmm. Yeah, well, anyway, the point is, I think we're probably going to be fine here. I mean, obviously, we're going to be fine because we just have... I don't know. I think we just outclass them in general in terms of our own units, but... These guys would have been really, really difficult for us beforehand, before we had actually joined the faction, because... We wouldn't have had any of these extremely powerful cavalry troops at that point either. So I think that makes a pretty big difference. Anyway, what is our plan going forward? Well, our plan going forward is to redeclare war. At least that's what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to try to redeclare war against the... Um, I don't even know what they're called. Um, apologies for that. Um, but <laughs> I want to try to redeclare war against the people that we were at war against just now. Those guys. Um, these fellows right here. Avaland. Avaland. Yes, I would like to be able to attack them if at all possible. Because if we can attack them, then this is going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to be able to have um, two castles almost immediately taken. I think we should be perfectly fine in being able to do that. It is very much just a case of are our allies going to actually help us or are they just going to be useless that is the be all end all here pretty much that is what it comes down to at the end of the day so that's that's it that <laughs> that's that's all i can really say about that so let's see if we can actually redeclare war against them obviously i'm not going to be able to do that through the diplomacy screen even though i have 654 influence you see <laughs> what <laughs> these guys have literally 78 total strength i feel like this is really really weird because they do have over 2000 units in their garrison uh, at least as far as i'm aware um it's just really strange how they only have 78 strength. I don't know. Anyway, let's do this. So, yeah, we're going to go and attack one of their... Um, I actually don't even know whether they have villages anymore. Do they have villages? That's the question. I really have no idea. Anyway, we can, we're going to continue gaining some pretty significant renown rewards as well as influence and money this is basically what i've been doing off screen as well in between the episodes i've basically just been attempting to farm as much renown as possible it's very difficult though much more difficult to do renown um with this character than it has been with pretty much any other so far because i am unable to take those relatively large battles on without having significant trepidation about it because obviously my own character is not as strong as the other ones were beforehand so we have to rely very much on our on our troops and i don't know whether i really can really rely on them that much because i am obviously not tier 4 yet i don't know what kinds of traits and skills and so on and so forth that we're going to be gaining are so you know those things that later on down the line there are going to be very very important for us so what i'm going to do is I'm going to see what happens here. I, I can't obviously attack these guys by attacking them straight up. I can't just speak to them and then attack them. I'm going to have to wait for a, um, a village or villagers or something like that to pass by us. And then we're going to hopefully be able to attack them from there. Oh, hello, Ragan the Engineer. Yes, I'm, I remade his party because his previous party was defeated. 
And I think to myself, oh, yes, why, how, why, why, why do you have that happen, sir? Yes, I have no idea. Oh, look, there's a caravan actually under, under attack there. I should probably go and help out. That really does make a big difference to overall relation gains and so on and so forth. It's always nice, isn't it? And we're just going to be leveling up too. Look at this. Oh, so much stuff to level up. It's crazy. All right, let's go for handgunners, of course. Pistoliers, demigriffs, associate engineers. And there we have it. All right, and we're not taking any prisoners right now just because I don't really want to go back to the town. I kind of want to remain here. This is a little bit weird, though. I'm not sure why we're not really getting... Um... Ah, there we go. There's There's a villager party right there. Okay, yeah, so there's the villager party. Let's attack straight away. There we go. Let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And yeah, we have now declared war against them once again. Okay, so this is obviously what is perfect. We, this is exactly what we wanted them to do. And we can only hope that they are going to follow through with their attacks now. Because beforehand, they were obviously being very, very hesitant and quite disappointing, actually, with their actions. So I'm hoping that my forces will actually do that this time. I'm going to call for my own army here. Let's see if we can get some people to join us. Oh, just two. Right. Okay, well, that is <laughs> not great. Hello, Balthazar. Oh, he's right there. Did you see him? Yeah, he just disappeared. All right, so we can actually fight this guy instead. Whoa, yeah, we got some people to help us as well. Okay, so this is great. Um... I, should I just go straight on in? Uh, I, I, I'm I kind of, I you know, I'm in two minds now whenever I should go in because it's going to be super, super dark, isn't it? It's going to be very, very dark most of the time when we go in during the night time. All right, so 5% more loot from defeated villagers and caravans, plus one extra troop from village notables when successfully forcing for volunteers. Okay, I got a question for you, okay? Um, if you play the game, all right, so I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you play Bannerlord, answer me this. Do you actually ever force volunteers to join you? That is a question that I have, that has really been on my mind for a very long time, because for me personally, whenever I go into a village and I think to myself, oh, yes, I'm going to recruit some people here, and then they decide not to join me, I don't automatically think, oh, yes, I'm going to force them to join me now, because that's going to, of course, reduce relation with the village or something like that. I actually have never done it because it just hasn't really, it doesn't seem that effective. I think I've done it maybe once. I think I did it one time and it didn't really seem to be that effective. So my question is, does this actually do anything? Is it actually good to do? Is it effective? Because if it's not effective, I don't know whether it's even, I don't know why we would take this perk. It just doesn't seem you know, it doesn't doesn't seem particularly useful, but maybe I'm wrong, you know, maybe that's the point, you know, that's why I'm asking you if you've actually, you know, used this thing, let me know, let me know what you think, because I would be interested to see. Anyway, I am going to be taking this nevertheless, because a 20% faster recovery from raids for your villages is actually really, really strong. And the other thing is not so strong, because I need to be the governor to be able to do that. And what else do we have here? Efficient campaigner and paid in promise. Okay, well, paid in promise is obviously what I am going to be taking. Yep, that is going to level up our forces just that much faster, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so unfortunate that we are now going to have to go in here. And yes, indeed, look at this. Another really, really dark battle. Well, it's, it's actually not even that dark. I mean, I can actually see this time around because the previous couple of battles I've literally been like okay I can barely see you know one foot in front of me so yeah it's really nice actually that we are able to do something this time and uh yeah they have 113 infantry and that is pretty much it I think they're probably going to be dead pretty soon oh wow I actually did damage to that guy can you believe it oh did damage to him again how is he alive still how is this guy alive? He, he literally should be dead right now. I, I did, uh, what was it, 80 and 60 damage, so he has more than 140 HP. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I mean, to be fair, I actually have more than 140 HP, so I guess it is possible for random people to have more. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised about that in general, you know, for 
some guy to have much more. But I think that's actually really cool. And that's something that I should really mention too, because obviously, you know, I can I can do the thing, you know. I can do the thing where I just focus on the negative of what just happened. But you've got to think about the bigger picture sometimes. Because if you think about it in a way that you kind of go, hmm, I actually really like the way this mod is designed because of that very reason. It is making it so much more diverse in regards to how many people can be killed in one hit. So obviously in this situation, it has given me the inspiration to be, be like, hey, you know what? It's it's very dynamic. It's so much more dynamic than, than the base game, for example. And that's what I was talking about in terms of asymmetry too. And, and some people were really, really helpful in the comments actually in uh, saying to me that the, the game I was thinking of in regards to asymmetry was natural selection too and that is actually still a thing apparently they still have some servers up and running and there's still a, a fan base of people that still play the game so i'm actually really pleased to hear that because um it was a long long time ago that i heard of this game and i think it's a fantastic fantastic um what is it now uh premise i feel like the premise and the the concept of it is absolutely just awesome because if you can get into an actual game where everyone's playing as you're supposed to play the game you know assisting your own forces the commanders are doing a great job you know all this wonderful stuff i think it's going to be one of the best um one of the best gaming experiences that you can have probably um but yeah anyway so that's obviously talking about asymmetry but i'm talking about the dynamicism of everyone has 100 hp in the base game but everyone here it just takes it a little bit further in regards to its RPG and that's what I've actually been talking about for a very long long period of time in um, in Warband as well and uh, you know generally whenever there is a particular mod potentially that provides a much greater sense of progression and RPG style mechanics I am always extremely appreciative of that because I, I understand okay I understand 100% that maybe that is not going to be your thing maybe you don't like fantasy elements and that's absolutely fine you don't have to like fantasy elements to enjoy RPGs right because that's the thing RPG mechanics are things that I'm referring to like extra skills I'm talking about I'm talking about extra skills I'm talking about extra progression trees skill trees upgrades and so on and so forth things that you can just do that will slightly increase your overall satisfaction with your character and it's and it's varying progression through the you know through the game through the journey that is the game whatever it may be and as i say it does not have to be a fantasy setting for you to enjoy that but that's my point that's the reason why the old realms is doing that thing with the career with the career trees i think that that is such a stroke of brilliance because as i say you know to have something like that that further customizes your character and further makes you think hmm yeah that's actually fantastic i love it that is so incredibly fun and um i i kind of wish the base game had something like that to be honest <laughs> i really wish the base game had something like it i uh, kind of wish all mods had something like it as well you don't have to you know, you don't have to copy it exactly, of course. But I'm saying, like, you know, something similar to that effect I've always wanted because it just dramatically says everything you need to know about whether this is an RPG or whether this is a, you know, straight up whatever. A, you know, a straight up um, simulator or medieval historical accurate kind of deal. Aha, I'm going to have to do something here. Okay, we're going to have to fight this guy. Does he want to fight me with that fellow or... No, he's actually running away, weirdly enough. I'm not entirely sure why he's actually running right now. That's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of weird. Why are you running, sir? I don't know why. I really have no idea. Okay, so because this is a relatively large battle, I'm just going to save real fast because I don't want it to crash, considering it hasn't saved for quite, for quite some time. And if it does crash, then I'm going to lose all my progression, which would be pretty terrible. 
And um, yeah, I want to get to... Oh, so it's 200. Oh, I kind of wish that you'd get a new perk every 25 skill points, but it's every 50 skill points. So let's have a look. You take 25% less damage from siege artillery and explosions. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that's really going to help me, hilariously enough. Um, <laughs> I think, you know what? If anyone from the modding team is seeing this, I think this needs to be changed in some way because from my perspective, I, I don't know whether you've you've seen that, um, but there is an episode in the previous series, the Damsel series, where I am standing outside the walls of a keep and I'm, think, I'm just talking about some random thing, you know, something to do with spells, no doubt, or how, how uh, amazingly fun it is to use my hexes or something like that. I, I actually don't know. And then all of a sudden, I get killed by the catapult. And the catapult literally does 500 damage. Yes, 500 damage. So unless this bomb suit thing is going to give me, I don't know, 80% or 90% reduced damage from siege artillery, 25% isn't going to save me. Because doing 500 damage, it literally does 500 damage, these catapults. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously that was a direct hit. I suppose that if it wasn't a direct hit, I would probably be taking a lot less. But I think that Bulletproof is, is far and away the much better perk here because it just generally provides you with 15% less damage taken from handheld ranged weapons which is obviously going to be much more prevalent in the grand scheme of things. You're, of course, going to be fighting people that are going to use um, handheld ranged weapons. So that means, obviously, bows as well, right? I, I actually have no idea. Anyway, whoa, these guys are insane. Look at the amount of perks these guys have. This is crazy. All right, yeah, let's just... Um, yeah, this fellow, on the other hand, has basically nothing, as you can see right there. Yeah, we're just going to transfer them over just so that we can gain as much um, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful bonus as possible. That is in ah, that is incredible. Um, yeah, we're, we're being blown up. We're being blown up right now. We're being blown up by a, a cannon. And that is not very nice of them, but I can't use my own. So, I, 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 guess, I guess it's good. I guess it's good we actually get to see a cannon in action. Because I would personally love to be able to use my cannon, but... It is not working for me. I don't know why, so that's a real big problem. Oh, I, I leveled up. Fantastic. Okay, well, yeah, I, at least I get to use my repeater rifle. That's all I can really say, because I actually find this super, super fun. This reminds me of my Skaven character in Warsword Conquest, Slythe of Skaven Blight. I actually really enjoy playing as him uh, back then. And he had a similar weapon where I could shoot multiple times without reloading or without having to reload. I'm taking massive damage here. Kind of feel like I should get petty heal. Someone told me that you can actually... Oh, there's a crash. Didn't I say? Didn't I say there was going to be a crash? Oh, that's hilarious. I called that. I called, like, I called that like no one's business. Anyway, I'll be back in a second. All right, so uh, here's the funny thing. Obviously, I reloaded, you know, I loaded back into my save that I made just before we went into the battle that crashed us. And uh, then I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to leave this battle. I had the opportunity to leave it because I was the instigator of the action. And now we have this situation on our hands. So Ludmila is coming in here and thankfully one of my allies is actually doing something for once. Can you believe it? I'm just going to go in for an auto resolve straight away here just because I want to get that out of the way. I want to get that done because there's something really, really important that I would like us to do. And uh, this is the funny thing about this. Um, in my time of being off screen in between the, the crash and coming back in to the game, I decided that I would check my comments section, okay? Because usually this is what I tend to do. I uh, you know, I'm going to check because I, I answer people and, you know, try to engage in conversation as much as I can. I feel like the, the you know, community interaction is extremely important. And I really enjoy doing that. Anyway, the point is... So many people on the previous episode are helping me out because <laughs> I can't or couldn't figure out how to make 
these blasted cannons and mortars work, but uh, a bunch of people have come up with some possible reasons why that is indeed the case. And so I'm actually just going to vote for this guy, I guess. Uh, well, this, this girl, shall we say. Um, but yeah, anyway, point is, I think maybe it's because I don't have any ammunition for the cannons. Or it is because I have not assigned them into the battle. And this is all thanks to you, by the way. Um, you know, those of you in the comments that have actually, uh, you know, uh, done that. So thank you very much for letting me know, because let's face it, I don't know. <laughs> I've tried everything I can think of. It just doesn't work. So I can only say that I'm extremely excited about this because I'd love to be able to use these. And if it actually, does it, does it actually give me, uh, I don't know whether it, wait a minute, I'm just going to save real fast just in case. I don't know whether it gives me engineering skill when I get kills with the, with the cannon. If it does give me engineering skill, I'm going to be really, really pleased. But if it doesn't, well, then that's just how it is, you know doesn't really matter either way but I think this is going to be really really good okay so I would like to buy some cannons sir do you have any cannon balls that's the question um that is the main deal here musket balls that does not help me and he's got some great cannons and that's basically it he does not have any cannon balls someone said that he has cannon balls or maybe I do I need to go into the the marketplace to buy them or something like that I actually have no idea. Anyway, we're just going to sell some stuff here. Whoa, okay, 55,000. That was that was easy, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so I'd like to recruit some engineers. Let's recruit a couple of novice engineers. And okay, so I'm going to assume that if I can't buy cannonballs in the marketplace, the thing that I'm doing is not assigning them appropriately. I have not done anything to my key bindings, by the way. I've not done anything at all to them. Um, there's the great cannon that I actually sold here. Should I, should I get that again? Yeah, okay. Let's just get that again. It's only 40,000, so it's really not going to kill me, is it? Um, so yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm actually very quickly just going to go in here. What is actually going on here? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, that that should be fine. Could you? Okay, he's actually going to go and defend that. Okay, so obviously my war that I forced here is hopefully going to pay off. <laughs> Cross fingers. Let's just hope that it actually pays off. Ah, hello there, Chaos Raiders. Okay, so we're going to go in here against some Chaos Raiders because I want to see whether I can assign the cannons or the engineering team to something because maybe there is an additional uh, formation that I actually need to enable before they are eligible to take advantage of this. Oh, why is it so pitch black? Are you serious? Okay, let me just see here. Is there anything that I can do? No, there isn't. As you can see, there isn't anything I can do here. This makes me very sad indeed. Huh. Um, yeah, there isn't actually anything here. And as you can see... Oh! It's working! Why is it working now? I didn't do anything different. Oh, wow. Uh, why Why is this pitch black, by the way? I don't even think... <laughs> is this a bug? Is this a bug right now? I think this is a huge bug right now. Because I... Oh, no, no, no. The ground is actually working. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm actually just going to place this down right here. Okay, I placed the mortar. Um, oh, now it's no longer... Oh, no, now it is working. Oh, okay. What? What actually happened? Okay, because you saw me, right? You saw me. I literally did nothing. I did not do anything at all. And I already... I had engineers before as well, so I have no idea. Anyway, I am completely blind. I am not going to be able to do anything in this particular battle. Because as soon as I switch away from... Uh, placing down this cannon, it is not going to... I can't see. I literally cannot see. I have obviously made this brighter for you in editing, but for me, I am um, literally... I, I just can't see anything. It's pitch black, um, which is rather funny, uh, suffice it to say. But yeah, I actually just killed some of my own troops, I believe. Yes, I'm killing a huge amount of my own troops with... Um, 
<laughs> with the mortar. Yes, okay, that's a thing that I need to watch out for, isn't it? Did, wait, wait, wait. Was that my own troops? or was, No, no, that was actually some of the... Um, um, some of my, uh, some of my allies troops, the ones that I have in my army at the moment, but we fixed it. I, I don't know how that happened because as I say, I kind of thought, Hey, you know what? I'm going to try to institute some of the things that you have mentioned in the comments. And I was on my way to do that at Nuln, of course. And well, you saw me, I, I tried to find some cannonballs, didn't have any available there as far as I could see. And then I also try to find a bunch of other things, you know, try to find out whether I could assign some stuff. Uh, that also didn't work. So, yeah. And now all of a sudden it works when we have two artillery pieces instead of just one. I'm not sure whether there's some kind of weird interaction in that regard. There probably is. This guy was able to defeat who he needed to defeat here, which is actually really nice. What's actually going on here? Oh, this is such a weird area right now. Look at these guys fighting against each other. That is really funny, considering they actually join together to fight each other. Um, I mean, not to fight each other, to fight their enemies with uh, with each other, which is it's kind of strange, considering they're fighting against each other now. Look at the look at that. That's very weird. Was that was that someone else? Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, how much am I actually going to get for this? Five point seven renown. That is not even very good, to be honest. Yeah, well, anyway, I am over the moon now because that basically means that I am now going to be able to utilize artillery. And as as people have very rightfully mentioned, cannons are super, super, super powerful and, uh, you know, really, really strong. And so I would like to try them out. I would love to be able to try them out appropriately. Hopefully we're going to be able to get some more engineering skills so that I can field two of them on the battlefield at once that would be absolutely fantastic and i'm actually just going to be getting rid of a couple of trade goods here because we always pick up a massive amount of those and we're just going to be locking both the mortar and the cannon just to make sure that i don't mistakenly sell them massive amounts of meat massive amounts of grain let's get rid of those and then we are done. Oh, I, I still can't get any more of those fellas. The Blazing Sun Knights are obviously going to be extremely, extremely useful for us. So I'm going to try to get as many of those as I can. But of course, um, sometimes it's just impossible to know exactly when I should return here um, to re-recruit a bunch of them. So yeah, there's also that. Anyway, I've now finally figured out, or I think I finally figured out how the cannon is going to work. Actually, you know what? I would like to, f I would like to fight one, one band of Chaos Raiders. Come on, come on Chaos Raiders. Isn't there? Uh, okay, fine. They don't want to come out of there. So maybe there's um, a band of Chaos Raiders along here because I saw a bunch of them and I, th I thought to myself, yeah, I don't really want to fight those guys right now. I'd like to fight some vassals or something like that, but um, yeah, oh well, never mind. Okay, let's see what we can do. Is there anything? Really? Is there actually... There, ah, there we go, there we go. Okay, there's actually someone right there. I'm actually just going to be saving real fast, just in case. You never know. And we are then going to do this. Let's do this. All right, I am super, super excited about this. And here we go. Let's make it a good one, shall we? Okay, so here we are. Yeah, 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 it's still working. Look at that. It's still working. That's fantastic. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I guess cannon here. Yep, there it is. Oh. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, that is such a classic and a half, isn't it? That is amazing. Did you see exactly what happened there? Yeah, I literally just decided, you know what? I'm going to place my cannon down here. And then my cannon immediately fires into my own troops. Killing a bunch of them. Oh my god. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, what a classic though. Eh? What a classic. Okay. So I am not going to be placing anything else. I think my cannon is perfectly fine. Where is my cannon, by the way? Where did I place it again? See, this is what I mean. My memory is just gone already. Look at that. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, 
Okay, wait a second. So, where are the... Oh, there's the cannon. Okay. Oh, what? I put it all the way over here? This is kind of weird. All right. So, yeah. Ooh, that's looking cool. That looks so fun. I really wish I would be a little bit more accurate with it. Oh, there you go. Massive damage. Can I please get engineering skill for using this? I don't know why I'm not getting engineering skill. Oh, look at how much damage it does. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it. That is so fun. Okay, so novice engineers are using it. Why are novice engineers using it? I had a bunch of veterans and they were not using it. So it could just be that I didn't have novice engineers. Do I need novice engineers to be able to make this work? That seems very strange. I don't know why that would be the case, but I kind of feel like maybe it is. Maybe there's some kind of weird bug surrounding the other archetypes. I don't know, but all I know is that we are very, very pleased now with this. This is absolutely incredible. If I can just get a little bit more, just a little bit more engineering skill, then I will be very happy indeed, because then we'll be able to use two great cannons instead of just one. Can you imagine the devastation that we can bring to the battlefield with two of them? Oh yes, I cannot wait. I really cannot wait. So let's just kill the last guy, please. There we go. And how much did I actually get for this? Yeah, 3.7 renown because I have so, uh, yeah, I have so many allies with me right now, which is absolutely huge, huge waste. But it was fun, you know, it was fun to try out the cannon. That's, that's exactly what we want, isn't it? That is exactly what we want. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Finally figured it out. I don't know what the problem was. I can only assume that the novice engineers are the only ones that can use the cannons potentially and leveling them up doesn't um, make them do anything, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.